Hi and welcome to Devana Lee Design Studio. My name's Nicole Reed, and today in part one of a two-part series, I'm going to show you how to turn this big pile of rubble of scraps into this gorgeous usable rope. So let's get started. Today we're going to turn our scrap fabric into this gorgeous rope and there's a couple of things that we have to do before we get started on that. The first thing is you're going to go and get all your scrap um, fat quarters that you've taken chunks out of or leftover fabric from borders or anything like that and you're going to strip it up into about one and a half inches or one and a quarter inches in width. Okay, they can be any length but the longer the better. Um, so if you don't have any scraps, like I do have a lot of scraps because I'm a quilter and I have classes and I make samples and all that sort of stuff. So I end up, inadvertently, end up with a lot of scraps. So this is all my stuff and a good friend of mine has helped me strip that all up for today's tutorial. But if you don't have any scraps to make this rope but and you want everything to coordinate, you actually can get um, your jelly rolls or your swags uh, some of these five inch ones are called swags and there's different com different companies out there and they make all different things so th these ones here are rainbows and they're from a place here in Australia called Victorian textiles and that's what I stock and these are called swags this one here is a two and a half inch strip and these ones here are five and a half inch strips so basically what I um, you could do is so if you had you know a red white and black uh, decor that you wanted to to um, coordinate with something to whether to make a mat or whether to uh, make the box that we're going to to make uh, next week you can strip this up as well so then you know that all your fabrics go together and um, you can just make the rope uh, if you do it with this one I would suggest that you do one inch strips with the five inch um, one or with the two and a half inch do one and a quarter and so we're going to get started on making our rope. So as you can see, I've got a couple of spools here and I've got another one to wrap some more of the, the rope on. And what we're, we're focusing on today is just making the rope. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to get two strips out and you want to make them as long as possible. So I've got a yellow one and what looks like a Christmas one. So you can see there it's got it's going to be yellow and black and they're quite contrasting and I think contrasting is the key with this. Alright, so you want your pretty sides facing up and you just put them on top of each other and then you just do a quick knot. So just wrap it around your finger and just secure that with a knot. And then what you're going to do is you've got two and we're going to twist them. So you just twist it on itself. So did you see that? So it's like this and we just, and we have that one so it's going underneath so our pretty side will be facing down. Okay, and we get that. And then we just, away from your body, twist it twice. Okay, so I'll do that again. So just away from your body, twice. If you're left handed it's the same thing, you just twist it away from your body. All right, so we'll do that and then we bring it over and then that becomes our bottom one there. And you will have to just hold it when you first start. And then this one, you do the same thing. Now you want to just be careful when you're first starting because it'll give, uh, it'll sort of try to put the, the wrong side out and we want the pattern. So roll it twice and bring it over twice and bring it over and you keep doing that all the way along until you get close to the end of one of your strips and what this does by doing this action it actually stops itself from unraveling so you can see there we've got our knot and it's starting to create the rope already and we just keep doing and you can do this watching TV like uh, talking to the kids you can get the kids involved with it as well it's quite therapeutic um, I've had I've been sitting here when talking to friends and just keep doing it and you know it's good you're doing something with your hands but you're creating something beautiful at the same time and it's a great way to use up all your scraps 
but you can see there it's just coming along nicely and you can see all the different colors in it so I've got a bit of that yellow and green with the the Christmas one and then I've got a bit of red with it um, so I had a fair I had a, um, a fair amount of that that Christmas one that's been sitting around for a while but it had chunks out of it so it wasn't really I could use it for blocks yes but I thought why not it looks really good it's gonna look great with the with the box so as you can see we just keep wrapping that around and what it's doing is just spinning on itself okay and you can see there it's quite strong like I can put a bit of and it just comes back but it doesn't unravel and I'll just keep going with that until we get to the end and then I'll show you how to join and we don't actually create any knots or anything like that and the beauty of this if you're not quite catching it you can actually stop and look at it again I'm just winding it a couple of times so one two and it doesn't matter if you get the it it rolls over on itself too much occasionally through throughout don't get too hung up on that so you can see there a little bit of the it rolled back on itself so I've got it upside down so the pretty sides rolled in don't stress about that too much if that starts to happen just give it a bit of a tug and just bring it over on itself like that and that will correct that so you can see here we're coming towards the end but I've still got this long tail um, to finish off and we're going to continue on like th this here has only the end knot which is there and the beginning knot and the rest is just all one piece so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another piece okay here's a nice long piece and it doesn't matter if it's all creased up or anything like that so again I put my all right that should be enough so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to get this piece and I'm going to sort of fold it in on itself and make it a little bit narrower so just like that and I'm just going to you can see there it's just starting to roll see that and I'm going to insert that into there and then I'm going to roll that side up over it so you can see there it's encased and then I'm just going to twist about three times and bring it over and hold it with my index finger and my thumb and then I'm going to quickly do that one and again I just twist it's a little bit slower this action and bring it over and again hold it with my index finger and my thumb and then roll that one and we should be just about ready to start rolling that over now you will get a little bit of a doggy happening but don't stress we can cut that off and it won't make any difference okay so you just keep rolling and we've gone past that point and now it's joined so this little bit here I generally leave them until I've done a fair amount of it but I'll get the scissors so and it doesn't matter that it's going to be a raw edge because I think that adds to the the um, character of it so I just trim that down until it's gone and as you can see there you can't really see it if you've still got a bit sticking out just give it another bit of a trim and there you go that's how we join the pieces and you can see that is quite strong and you just keep going and then when you get to the other one so that I'll be coming up to changing the color for onto the black strand soon the Christmas one and you just keep doing that until you get to the end you just keep adding pieces to it I prefer to work with long pieces but if you do have some short pieces by all means use them it just means that you will have a few more joins in it so if you can if you want you can possibly sew them together you don't have to you can just join them in but if you want to sew a couple of your smaller pieces in with about an eighth of an inch uh, seam allowance because it will create less bulk that way um, and you can then create a longer strip because it is easier to work with longer strips so there you go and that is how you make your fabric ropes 
Okay, so I hope you really enjoyed that video today on how to turn your scraps into usable rope, fabric rope. It's a great way to um, get rid of all those scraps out of our sewing rooms that seem to always be multiplying. Um, and if you don't have any scraps, so you can always use a jelly roll or a swag, as I said earlier on in the video. If you like today's tutorial, give us a thumbs up down below. As always, we love to hear from you. Leave us a comment below and tell us what you thought. And hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it, and that way you won't miss out on any future videos. My name's Nicole Reed for Divinely Design Studios. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you all again here next week. Bye for now.